Hello, my name is Urko Serranun and I'm a member of the Gloria project and the Shelley's expedition and we are here with uh, Professor Paul Einarsson. We're going to make him some simple questions uh, in order to figure out what's uh, the current situation of the possible subglacial eruption. Professor uh, Paul Einarsson, uh, four sinkholes have been formed in the Vatna Yakul glacier. Uh, located in east-southeast uh, area of Bardabunga volcano. The sinkholes are between 10 and 15 meters deep and between 4 and 6 kilometers long. And this could be the result of a subglacial eruption. Uh, in addition, there has been an emergency meeting to discuss this issue. Which is the current status of this uh, finding? Well, uh we are in the middle of a, of a volcanic crisis and, and things are developing very fast uh, around the Barra Punka volcano and uh, yesterday there was a, well, last night there was a little crisis because of, of the discovery of, of new uh, sinkholes in the glacier. Uh, it is a bit difficult, that they don't really seem to be the result of an eruption, uh, so uh, geothermal activity at the bottom of the glacier is the most likely explanation for it at the moment. But this is being uh, investigated today and uh, there is an, an aeroplane flying over the area right now and we are just waiting for, the, uh, for the, their observations when they turn back now any, any minute. So uh, there is nothing new to, to, to hear about it but it does not seem to be an eruption. So it is more like uh, a maybe a new geothermal area at the bottom of the, of the glacier. Uh, the second question, Paul, um, is that more than 1,500 earthquakes have been detected so far near the volcano. Uh, the results show that the seismic activity is moving north towards the Askia volcano system, and more than 10 million cubic meters of magma have been added to the intrusive dike. Is there any chance that the possible volcano eruption could happen on this area? Yes, there is, uh, uh, there is a, a whole group of volcanoes in central Iceland, uh, near the center of the Iceland hotspot. And uh, Bardabunga seems to be the central uh, uh, player in this, uh, in this group of volcanoes. And it seems to be able to affect the, the neighboring volcanoes. So what is happening right now is that there is a dike propagating away from the center of the volcano and uh, along the rift zone. And it is now at the moment, or has been now for several days, it has been uh, propagating towards the Askia volcano, which is also a very active volcano, has not erupted since 1961. Uh, uh, so uh, it seems that the possibility is, 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 uh, is there that the Barabunga volcano will shoot a dike into the uh, Askia volcano. And this is a very interesting scenario. Uh, we have never been able to observe this uh, phenomenon before, uh, not in this, on, on this scale. Uh, so uh, we, we definitely have to take into account that uh, the Askia volcano will be activated by the Barabunga volcano. The third question, Paul, is around 4 million cubic meters of water have flowed under the glacier. Uh, this could be due to ice that is melting under the glacier. Is there any imminent uh, flash flood in the area? It's one of the things that we have to take into account also because the activity is in, in a glacier area that uh, anything that comes up in terms of lava will melt ice and will produce water. So this water can lead to, to floods and uh, some, sometimes to catastrophic floods. So we have to be very careful about this to, to track the path of the, of the water under the glacier. Uh, at the moment, uh, the water that seems to have formed uh, during, uh, underneath these uh, sinkholes that were discovered, we still don't know where that water is. It's, a, it's like a playing a detective to find out where the water went, and uh, we don't see it yet. We haven't found the water. So there is something like uh, maybe uh, 30 million uh, cubic meters of water uh, on the loose. We don't know where it is. It's lost. 
the fourth question is, your team has provided information to the civil protection uh, agency to close airspace in the surroundings of the Hekla volcano. Why was this decision taken? Well, uh, we have about 30 volcanoes that are active in Iceland and uh, we have an eruption every second year on the average. And uh, Hekla is one of the most active volcanoes in Iceland. It erupted in 2000 uh, and it is, has been preparing for the next eruption. Uh, we can see that the, the volcano has been swelling up because of increasing pressure in the, in the volcano. So it is ready for an eruption. And we know that Hekla has a very short temper. Uh, it is rather unusual uh, for Icelandic volcanoes because it, from the first sign of an eruption until it then erupts, it's very short. So there will probably not be time to warn uh, overflying aircraft. And uh, then we also have the strange situation that aircraft really seem to like Hekla a lot. So about 20 big jets are flying directly over Hekla every day. And uh, if Hekla erupts, there is a significant chance that it will shoot down a plane. So that is the reason why we have to be extra careful about, about Hekla. Hekla is special in this because of the short temper.